Thank you very much. Uh, let me start by thanking the organizers, uh, Hiro and uh, Karin, uh, for these uh, invitations, for this very nice workshop. And also, I want to congratulate both of you that probably this is the first uh, physics conference where the, all the speakers on one day is uh, female. All of them. <laughs> so <laughs> this is a very uh, exciting uh, for me, uh, and uh, I want to congratulate. The best. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, today I would like to talk about this uh, uh, scamio and monopoles in chiral magnets, right? And uh, my name is Naoto Nagaosa, and uh, let me introduce my collaborator. Uh, these are the theory people, and uh, Iwasaki-san is uh, in the audience, and uh, Koshibai-san is my colleague in Riken, and Hoshino-san also and uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Zhang is my graduate student. And also, uh, Dr. Wu is uh, playing a very important role, uh, and uh, uh, she's a uh, uh, source of the constant input from the experiments. And uh, uh, Kanada-san and uh, Yakuchi-san uh, belongs to the Tokura's group, and uh, uh, closely related uh, uh, experiment has been done by those people. Okay, so probably mo uh, most of you already know about the scamion. So scamion is a, a spin texture made from uh, many, many spins, and uh, there is a mapping from the uh, two-dimensional space to the unit sphere. Then you can count how many times the spin direction wrapped the uh, unit sphere. So uh, phenomenal structure is uh, trivial, but uh, this uh, scamion structure has a, a topological index one. So this is analogous to uh, these types of uh, uh, geometry. And then uh, you cannot uh, transform this to this by the continuous uh, deformation of the spin structure. And uh, this has come, and uh, this has been discussed for the uh, nuclear physics. And now uh, condensed matter uh, system shows a variety of uh, scamian systems. And uh, we focus on these magnets. Oh, sorry. And actually, <coughs> this is a brief history of uh, studies of uh, scamions. And the, the first uh, experimental uh, proposal is done by German group. And uh, uh, this is a uh, Newton scattering uh, data. And uh, you have a hexagonal six spots uh, in this uh, puzzling uh, A phase. And they identify this uh, A phase as a, a scamion crystal uh, with a triangular uh, lattice. And uh, uh, after uh, this uh, seminar work, uh, we succeeded to observe by uh, Lawrence T.M., uh, namely the Dr. Wu, uh, invent a very ingenious uh, method to apply the magnetic field in this Lawrence T.M., and then uh, Lawrence uh, microscopy, and then uh, we observed, uh, he, she observed uh, this uh, crystal structure and also uh, this uh, uh, gas states of uh, uh, scamions. So this is very important since this uh, uh, scamion is uh, uh, regarded as a particle, em emergent particle, uh, even not uh, without this crystal structure. And uh, here is our, our uh, Monte Carlo simulation, and this is uh, experimental uh, observations. So there are uh, two uh, energy scales. One is a uh, transition temperature T, which is typically uh, exchange coupling J. And the other uh, is a magnetic energy, which controls the phase diagram. And uh, this is given by the d squared over j. Because we have uh, a length scale, which is a scale with a j over d. And uh, this is a wave number. And this wave number square times j is a typical energy for the scamion formation. This energy gain density for spin one, uh, one spins. And this uh, small factor uh, clearly gives you the hierarchy of the energy scales. And once you are interested in this energy scale, then the scamion is topologically protected. So that is uh, given by the uh, huge energy difference between this magnetic uh, axis and the uh, uh, temperature axis. So uh, this is a brief introduction. And uh, from the uh, viewpoint of the theory, this scamion structure is so important and interesting because of this tilted spin structure. So once you have uh, uh, this solid angle made from uh, uh, spins, then uh, when the conduction electron is uh, coupling by uh, the Hund's coupling to this uh, spin texture, then it will feel some uh, gauge flux. So this gauge flux is uh, related to the solid angle made from these three spins. And this is so-called emergent magnetic field associated with the very phase of uh, our spin systems. And uh, importantly, once the scale is typically nanometers, uh, then this uh, uh, effective magnetic field could be uh, huge of the order of uh, 4,000 tesla. 
So this you can never achieve by a laboratory. Uh, but uh, in the spin uh, systems, you can easily uh, make a huge uh, effective magnetic uh, field acting on the spin, uh, acting on the conduction electrons. And uh, furthermore, uh, this uh, so-called Berry phase uh, gives you the chiral dynamics of a uh, skarmion itself. Namely, if we take the uh, center mass coordinates of a skarmion x and y. Then I can derive the uh, very phase for the uh, center of mass motions of uh, skarmions. So this is very analogous to the charged particles under the external magnetic field. And then once you have a, a potential by the impurity, then the velocity is always perpendicular to the uh, direction of the force. Then uh, this uh, dynamics can uh, very efficiently avoid this impurity pinning potential. So that is one of the reasons why the uh, threshold current uh, for the uh, motion by spin transfer torque is uh, so small because uh, uh, this uh, typical chiral uh, motions uh, avoids this impurity potential. So uh, this will be very important in the following. And now uh, we are pretty interested in this uh, uh, disorder effect. And the, uh, this is an experiment of the observation of a threshold current density for the spin transfer torque. And uh, this is a reduction of the so-called topological hole effect uh, due to the emergent electric field induced by the uh, motion of the skarmions. And this is also the uh, German group. And for the weak pinning potential, the phase diagram as a function of the current density is rather simple. So you have one critical current density below which the uh, skarmion crystal is pinned and above which you have a dipping, and the uh, whole crystal will move. So this is a very uh, simple phase diagram. But actually, if you uh, go to the strong pinning potential, the phase diagram becomes very rich. And actually, we found that there are four regimes of a uh, 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 phase diagram uh, if you increase the uh, uh, current density. So we have a three critical uh, threshold uh, current density. And actually, uh, this is a, a usual uh, depin transition. And actually, if you further increase the current density, uh, we have a regime where the skarmion creation occurs. Right? And uh, uh, furthermore, we have a skarmion segregation regime. So I will describe this uh, uh, later on. But uh, uh, I want to mention about the earlier work by Los Alamos group. Uh, but in his calculations, they regard the skarmion as a point particles, right? And then uh, they assume the uh, equation motion for these point particles and uh, draw this phase diagram. So this is a disorder axis, and this is a current axis, right? For small or weak disorder, uh, so they have a similar phase diagram as this, right? So you have only one threshold current density. But uh, if you go to the strong disorder, they have uh, three phases. So this is a, 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 a pinned glass, and this is a, a moving liquid, and this is a moving crystal, right? So these are three phase diagrams quite different from this. So the reason is that they are based on the particle uh, simulations. So if you take into account the spin simulation, then you can create or destroy the skarmion, and also you can emit the spin waves between the skarmions. So that gives you this uh, C and D regimes which is uh, missing in this phase diagram. So that's why still the spin dynamics is important uh, in this regime. Uh, even though this uh, weak pinning case, the uh, center of mass motion is the only degrees of freedom. So that is one message I, I want to convey. Great. I mean, if I see, you have, the, I assume they're created from the pinning centers? Yeah. And do they, are they created first as a scaling and scaling first? And then yeah, I, 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 will be, I will show you the real so movie. OK, so what we measure is a so-called emergent electric field. Once the skarmion moves, so it will create the voltage drop in the uh, emergent uh, electric field. And we integrate this uh, uh, small E field. And then that measures the velocity of uh, skarmions. So this is our, our way to measure the velocity. OK, so this is a, a depend regime, so-called uh, region B. And this is the motions. So we start from a, a, a triangular crystal and relax due to the impurity potential and put the current. And then it begins to move. And uh, here is the uh, uh, velocity, right? Uh, 
uh, namely, uh, okay. So this is basically the uh, velocity uh, uh, along the x direction and y. Okay, so uh, Vy is uh, actually the velocity along the x direction. And uh, this uh, small shift gives you the uh, skarmion hole effect in the presence of the impurity potential. And uh, this is a noise spectrum uh, as a function of uh, o omega. And you have uh, uh, typically uh, this kind of uh, uh, omega dependence. So this is actually uh, almost uh, similar and consistent with uh, uh, this Los Alamos group using the particle-based simulation. And this is a free transformation. And uh, this is uh, omega square plotted as a logarithm, semi-logarithmic plot. And uh, the reason why I'm uh, uh, putting this is uh, we naturally were very naive consideration suggests the Gaussian distribution. So then uh, this uh, uh, straight line is a Gaussian distribution of uh, uh, this uh, uh, Fourier transformation. But uh, slightly, you have an enhancement near the uh, low energy. So we are now still analyzing how to understand this one. OK. So in the region C, uh, we have a skarmion creation. So this is a real-time movie. So this is a some uh, elongated uh, skarmion uh, one uh, because of the impurity potential. So this uh, skarmion is elongated. And uh, here, so you have a, a transition from uh, uh, minus 1 to uh, 0. But again, this one will form a, a skarmion eventually. So originally, you have a one skarmion elongated. And then this will split into the two uh, skarmions. So this gives you the change of the uh, skarmion number uh, due to the, yeah, we have a lot of uh, impurity uh, in these uh, systems. And uh, once the uh, uh, current drives uh, this skarmion, so it will be uh, distorted and uh, elongated and uh, split into the two. So this is a, a process of the skarmion uh, creation under the uh, strong current in the regime of uh, C. OK, so this process occurs many places, right? And uh, this is a time dependence of uh, uh, skarmion number uh, as a function of time. And then uh, you increase your skarmion number as the time uh, uh, goes on. So yeah, so this is a regime C, uh, when the uh, velocity of uh, uh, electron conduction uh, electron uh, current density is uh, reasonably uh, large enough. So this is a region uh, C. And if you go to the region D, so the motion gets uh, much faster because the high density of uh, electron current. And then as the time goes on, so you can see the uh, change of this Scavian configuration. So Interestingly, so this is the direction of the current. And then it will make a, almost a stripe, like that. So it's a sort of a phase separation or segregations of uh, skarmion regions and the uh, ferromagnetic regions. So we believe that this one is coming from the emissions of the spin wave uh, when the uh, skarmion collides with the impurity potential. Then you will emit a, a spin wave. And uh, this spin wave will attract the second skarmion. So that gives rise to the effective attractive force uh, between the uh, skarmions. So that gives you this uh, stripe formations of uh, uh, skarmions. So these are the two dimensional uh, simulations. And uh, we have uh, four uh, regimes for this uh, strongly disordered uh, skarmion systems under the uh, current driven motion. So now uh, we, are, uh, we want to understand this uh, in a more analytic way, uh, because the uh, uh, simulation gives you lots of information, but uh, we really need a uh, uh, theoretical uh, form formulation of these uh, properties. So for that purpose, uh, we try to construct the effective theory describing the low energy. So uh, the base is uh, this expansions of the spin uh, structure in terms of the canonical conjugate pairs. So NY is a rotating part of uh, uh, this spin spiral. And uh, uh, beta is uh, a uniform uh, magnetization around the direction 
of a uh, wave number. Because uh, this uh, beta is a generator of a uh, rotation. So then this uh, ni, namely the phi, phase on degrees of freedom, and the beta is a canonical conjugate pair of these systems. So then I plug in uh, these uh, uh, variables into this uh, effective uh, Hamiltonian and uh, uh, very phase term. So we end up with uh, uh, three linear combinations of uh, uh, this uh, phase on mode. So, <clears throat> but uh, actually, uh, symmetric uh, combinations of these three phase on mode is uh, uh, high energy. It's a gap. And uh, we have uh, x and y uh, direction of the shift. Phi is uh, nothing but uh, uh, translational shift of a uh, uh, Kamion crystal. And uh, uh, this uh, phi x and phi y uh, plays an important role in the low energy uh, dynamic of the Scamium crystals. OK, so this is a, a starting point. And then uh, we derive the effective action, or uh, Lagrangian, for this. And then there are two important uh, terms. So the one is the so-called very phase term. So because of the uh, topological nature of the Scamium crystal, so there appears uh, a cross term between the x and y uh, components of uh, uh, displacement, phase on degrees of freedom. And the second one is uh, this uh, QZ linear term. Here is a, a Z derivative and uh, phi dot, phi dot. So this is a momentum uh, coming from the beta. And also this is uh, off diagonal between the X and Y. So this term is represent the non-reciprocal nature of a Scamion crystal along the uh, magnetic field. And uh, this term never appears for the single helix state because uh, this is off diagonal in the x and y. So these are the two important features of this effective theory. And this gives rise to the variety of uh, low energy physics. And uh, for the pure systems, uh, actually, uh, this uh, theory gives uh, uh, two uh, corrective modes. So in the um, uh, single helix, so you have a Q linear uh, dispersion, and uh, this uh, doubly degenerate. Right? But in the case of a uh, scamium crystal, so the dispersion changes from linear to the quadratic. And uh, uh, here is a non reciprocal terms, which is a Q force times QZ. So these are very high uh, uh, order terms, but still asymmetric between the QZ and minus QZ. And actually, this uh, gapped mode has a, a stronger uh, non reciprocal nature, and uh, you have uh, uh, this dispersion. So, this is a starting point. And actually, I plug in the uh, disorder potential uh, to this uh, low energy dynamics. So, uh, this is a cartoon for the pinning uh, of uh, uh, scarmium crystal. And I plug in this uh, disorder potential, which is a uh, uh, single spin anisotropy, and then uh, strength of this disorder and the uh, inter-impurity distance, uh, L. And uh, uh, Xi represents the so-called uh, size of the domain. And this uh, uh, Xi is a function of the uh, V impurity and the elastic constant, and also the inter-impurity distance. And actually, in the physics of uh, uh, charge density wave pinning or spin density wave pinning, so there are two regimes. So the one is the uh, so-called weak corrective pinning, where this uh, C is uh, bigger than L. So you have a uh, lot of uh, impurity inside this domain. So this is a weak pinning case, and the other is a strong pinning case. But as long as uh, this uh, uh, impurity is uh, less than the e uh, elastic constant J, and uh, in 2D and 3D, the corrective pinning is always realized. So namely, this situation is realized. So then we focus on uh, this weak pinning case for uh, this uh, pinning. OK, so in order to analyze this one, uh, already we have a lot of uh, theoretical tools developed by uh, spin glass people and so-called uh, uh, replica symmetry breaking. So the idea is uh, to let the uh, Analytic continuation of this uh, integer n goes to uh, 0. So then uh, this uh, log average can be represented by the uh, z n to the average. So uh, this is a formula. But in order to proceed this analytic continuations, we need a trick, so-called uh, replica symmetry breaking. And uh, originally, n is an integer, but uh, inverse, uh, namely the n is less than unity. 
and uh, continuous function. So then uh, you have some pattern of uh, this uh, uh, self-energy structure and so on. So these are theoretical de uh, details. And uh, uh, let me go to the uh, consequences of this theory. So oh, this is actually the uh, replica symmetry, uh, replica averaged uh, action. And the impurity potential is integrated over already. So we have this uh, interaction between the replica, different replica indices and uh, uh, applying some Gaussian approximation to derive the uh, propagator of this phason in the presence of uh, uh, disorder potentials. OK, so here is an expression for the disorder potentials. And everything is uh, written in terms of the pinning strength and uh, uh, this uh, inter-impurity distance L, and also uh, et cetera, and J, and the magnitude of the spin, et cetera. And uh, uh, there are two uh, characteristic uh, scale. So one is a pinning frequency, omega P, and the other is the size of the domain, uh, Cp. So these uh, are usually uh, very small for the Scamion systems especially in the three-dimensional systems. So this opinion frequency is estimated for the manganese silicide of the order of 10 to the minus 7 Kelvin. So this is a very low energy scale, and the uh, length scale is uh, uh, 1,000 nanometer. So this is a very large. But uh, in the 2D case, uh, this uh, uh, pinning frequency is uh, much larger, 10 to the minus 2 Kelvin, but uh, still uh, very low. And uh, uh, this uh, Xi is uh, shorter. So uh, this one is uh, our estimate for this uh, energy scale and the length scale of uh, this uh, pinning. And actually, uh, this gives us a variety of uh, physical consequences. So one is a non-reciprocal uh, response or the directional dichroism. So the conclusion here is that if you put the uh, electromagnetic field so the non reciprocal nature is represented by this formula, namely the uh, uh, ratio of the response function between the QZ and the minus QZ. So uh, this one is represented by this uh, uh, R of omega. And uh, uh, this R of omega for this uh, pinned corrective modes, namely the phonon modes, is uh, much smaller than unity. Then you cannot expect uh, uh, dichroism here. But uh, for this uh, uh, gapped mode, so this dichroism could be of the order of a unity. So what I want to propose is uh, look at this frequency and then uh, to see the difference between the electromagnetic response between the positive and negative. Namely, the QZ is the direction of a magnetic field. So the non reciprocal nature occurs along or, uh, the other direction of the uh, magnetic field. So this is a, a typical behavior of the three-dimensional uh, Scamion crystal. And uh, also, uh, you can uh, discuss variety of uh, uh, physical quantity, uh, NMR, and the magnetic susceptibility, and the optical conductivity, and the magnetoelectric uh, response, and also the current density. And uh, <coughs> I want to propose the following. Uh, namely, by tuning the external magnetic field, you can easily switch between the scamion crystal and the heavy magnetic state. So the uh, behavior of this uh, uh, grassy state is uh, completely different between the two, especially you are looking at the dynamical nature of these systems. For example, the pinning potential is uh, much, much reduced compared from uh, uh, this uh, uh, helix state. So the reason is that uh, this uh, uh, Goldstone boson is uh, Q linear for this helix case, but it is uh, Q square in the, uh, uh, this uh, Scamion crystal. And also, if you reduce the dimension, uh, dimensionality from 3 to 2, then this opening frequency is uh, much larger compared with uh, 3D. And uh, you can compare the bulk crystal and the thin film. And uh, by tuning the magnetic field, you can compare the helix and the scamion crystal. And uh, this uh, results in the huge difference between the uh, mu SR or NMR relaxation rate comparing the, uh, this uh, uh, helix state and the uh, uh, scamion state. So uh, the conclusion is that uh, this uh, scamion state has a much stronger relaxation rate compared with the uh, uh, helix. So uh, there are a variety of uh, physical uh, prediction uh, coming from this uh, replica symmetry. 
And, uh, uh, in order to go further in, in details about this uh, physical consequences, so we focus on this uh, uh, so-called nonlinear hole effect. So these are uh, phenomena and observed by Tokura's group. And uh, uh, the situation is the following. So you apply the magnetic field, then you have a uh, uh, scamion uh, crystals, and you put the current in this direction. And uh, they measure the voltage drop uh, parpen uh, parallel to the external magnetic field, namely the direction of this uh, uh, scamion string. And then as a function of magnetic field, here is a helix state, and uh, here is a uh, conical state, and uh, here is a scamion crystal state. And only in this scamion crystal state, they measure the two omega component of a voltage drop. So only in this scamion state, you uh, have a non reciprocal response uh, of this uh, nonlinear hole effect. So then uh, we are uh, uh, trying to analyze this phenomena in terms of uh, emergent electric field due to the, uh, uh, this uh, uh, distorted scamion string. And because once you have this distortion, due to the uh, impurity and the uh, current drive, then you can create the electric field. And uh, because of the asymmetry of the uh, dynamics of uh, 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 scamionic crystals, then you have a Z and minus Z uh, difference. So this is a formula for the uh, emergent electric field. And actually, this is a final formula we get. And uh, here is a variety of uh, uh, predictions. And the one is uh, this appears only in the scamic phase with uh, multiple cues because uh, this non reciprocal nature is coming from the off diagonal between the qx and qy, which is missing in the helix state. And also, it appears only in the dependent state above the critical current density. And uh, once you have a sign change of d, then the uh, direction of uh, this electric field also sign change. So, and also uh, here is a, a velocity of a, a, a conduction electron force power. So this is a by, uh, very high power and the impurity strength uh, to the power of four. So these are not uh, analyzed experimentally, but the, these three features are quite consistent with the experimental observation. And furthermore, uh, we did some uh, numerical simulation for the scamion formation with the impurity potential and uh, uh, external current. So you can see some distortion is excited. And then you pinch the structure. And uh, you can see the velocity of this monopole and antimonopole are different, upwards and downwards. This is again the uh, consequence of this non-reciprocal nature between the z and minus z. So with uh, three minutes uh, left, uh, I want to discuss about the monopole crystal. So up to now, we have so uh, think about the uh, string of uh, scamium. But in this particular material, manganese germanite, so it has been observed that uh, uh, this uh, scamionic structure forms a three-dimensional, uh, q1, q2, q3. And uh, uh, if you uh, superimpose this uh, uh, three-dimensional uh, helix, then you can create the uh, uh, monopole and anti-monopole, which is uh, uh, observed by the uh, topological hole effect. Right? And the uh, idea is the following. So suppose you have uh, this superposition, and because of the strong correlations, uh, our spin direction is determined by this uh, uh, unit vector. And then you can define the uh, emergent magnetic field, so which uh, forms uh, this structure, namely between the uh, monopole and the anti-monopole. Uh, these are connected by so-called the Dirac string. But uh, this Dirac string is nothing but a scamion uh, string. OK, so uh, this is the distribution of the B field. And uh, uh, actually, if you increase the magnetic field, there occurs a pair annihilation of a uh, monopole and anti-monopole. The f first, this, uh, uh, you can see this uh, uh, red part is an uh, anti-scamion string, and the uh, blue is a scamion string. And uh, uh, this is a monopole point. And uh, this monopole annihilate at some uh, uh, value of the external magnetic field 
or the uniform magnetizations. And actually, this is a topological phase transition where the motions of uh, a monopole and anti-monopole is uh, uh, quite sensitive to the change of the external magnetic field. So this uh, critical phenomena should appear in some physical uh, properties. And actually, uh, we analyzed the uh, magneto resistance in terms of this uh, uh, topological quantum criticality. And actually, this uh, peak uh, structure is quite consistent with uh, uh, this uh, experimental observation. Also, the anisotropy between the z-direction and the uh, x-direction is also uh, consistent. And furthermore, uh, we have uh, this uh, ultrasonic measurement. And here is anomalous critical softening of uh, phonon mode, uh, acoustic phonon mode, which is also consistent with our uh, topological phase transition of this uh, monopole crystal. So that's all what I want to say that uh, actually uh, in the disorder, strong disorder uh, under the current, we have uh, four regimes of uh, uh, current and the pinning, depinning, and the scamion creation and the scamion segregations. So these are the uh, response, these are uh, uh, due to these uh, spin motions, not the uh, particle picture, right? So these two are new features coming from uh, uh, magnon and also the uh, skarmion uh, distortion, uh, introducing some uh, uh, singular point of uh, spin configuration. And uh, we have developed the uh, skarmion glass theory based on this uh, replica <laughs> symmetry breaking and uh, produce a variety of uh, prediction and also the uh, analysis of the nonlinear uh, Hall effect. And the lastly, uh, in this particular materials, we are talking about the topological phase transitions under the magnetic field. So thank you very much.